break it. Cats show blitz, and Nelson trying to audibleize. Here comes the blitz right up the middle, and the Ducks do a nice job picking it up. Terry Obi has it, and he's got a touchdown. Pete Nelson read the blitz and reassigned the blocking assignments. 54-yard touchdown, and if Pete Nelson's going to throw a long touchdown pass, it kind of figures he's going to throw it to Terry Obi. Lattenberry was the reason Nelson was able to get that pass off. He did an excellent job picking up the pressure that was unaccounted for, allowed Pete the time to find Obi down the field, and once again, the nelson Obi combination has great results. Terry Obi now has extended his streak of catching a ball in 21 consecutive games. We'll talk about the Obi Nelson connection after the point after attempt. Kirk Dennis to attempt it. Bobby Brothers to do the holding. Gary Robertson to do the snapping. Kick is up, and it's good. Well, plenty of time left in this football game. 27 to 10, and the Ducks with their first touchdown tonight. And that's got to put a little spark in him indeed. We take a look at the play again. Lightenberry just, just wipes out Kevin Singleton, the inside backer. And there he goes. It's a touchdown again. <coughs> Too bad we can't count it again. <laughs> really? Anyway, you talk about Terry Obi and Pete Nelson last year against Washington State. An 80-yard touchdown pass. One of the longest in Oregon history. Earlier this year against San Diego State, 66-yard touchdown pass. One of the top 10 longest touchdown passes in Oregon history. And now a 54-yarder. So those two just, you know, kind of have a sense for each other. And a good job by Nelson as he just had a long